After six months of rumors, speculation, and waiting, the Naruto crossover is finally here. What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt, and this is update 18.40 in under five minutes. But before any of that, it doesn't matter who you are or how well you currently play in Fortnite, everyone has the potential to improve. At Pro Guides, we have some of the best pro coaches around who are dedicated to helping you break into Champions Division in record time. Last month alone, we saw a ton of users climb from contenders up to champions, and all you need to do to be next is click the link in the description. So first and foremost, Naruto items are out today. Not only is Naruto himself a skin, but he'll be joined on the island by Sasuke, Sakura and Hatake. Anyway, all of these items are now available in the item shop. Just like when Fortnite crossed over with Balenciaga, there are tokens that you can now collect in Creative that come in the form of ramen bowls and ninja scrolls. Collecting these will net you free rewards. Speaking of Creative, there's also a hidden Leaf Village Creative Hub that players can now experience. Back in the main Battle Royale mode, you'll be able to pick up and find the new explosive kunai weapon as well as a Naruto themed shinobi battle bus. Next up, let's take a quick look at the map changes. The center of the map now hosts a pyramid. This pyramid structure covers the entirety of the convergence. In the files, it has also been noted that something called Corruption Spread will be enabled this patch, which will last until the season ends in December. Moving on to the gameplay changes that were added in this patch. Clearly, Epic thought that the combat pistol was underperforming because they buffed it this patch. This buff seems to be an overall buff to both its damage and other stats. There's also, of course, the addition of the explosive kunai throwable. These can stack up to six times in your inventory slots, will do 35 damage to players and 200 damage to builds. They also apparently have some kind of homing element, which is sort of terrifying. A new gold bar deposit challenge has begun, and this time the reward is the salvaged brute. It'll take a lot of bars to be donated for the salvaged brute to be added to the game, but no doubt you'll get there eventually. Shopping carts have also been added back into the island. You'll be able to find them in residential areas like Retail Row and Holly Hedges. It's important to note that other than the combat pistol changes, none of these new gameplay additions, not even the shopping carts, will be available in competitive. All right, let's switch over to everything the data miners have found in the files of the game. For the skins, we've got the Victor Elite, Crazy 8, Neuralynx, Peely, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Hatake. Harvesting tools next. There's the Kunai, the Black Ops Sword, Hidan Scythe, the Snake Sword, the Neural Scratch Claws, the Nanatech Blade, and the Lucky Eights. Over on the back blings, there's the Victory Crest, the Tech Plate Eight, the Scroll, Pakun, the Neural Scratch Claws, the Nanatech Blade, the Hidden Leaf Cloak, and the Demon Wind Shuriken. We've got one Contrail, the Renegade Blaze, and one Glider, the Kurama. Finally, the wraps. There's the target locked and the ink printed. On top of all these leaks, there have also been a bunch of leaks referencing an event at the end of the season. First and foremost, and this might be considered a bit of a major spoiler, so you should definitely switch off now if you don't want to be spoiled. Okay, you've been warned. It definitely looks like season eight is going to be the last season of chapter two. According to iFire Monkey, two strings regarding Night Night, which is the code name for the black hole to be continued screen, have been updated this patch implying that we'll be sent back into the black hole, or something very much like it, at the end of the season. Another reference to an absolutely massive event was a new encrypted file that was added to the game this patch. It's an absolutely huge 1.34 gigabytes. Usually, events are only 400 to 600 megabytes per event, so this one looks to be double the size. And if that isn't an indicator of a new chapter, well, I don't know what could be. That's all we've got for this update. Other than the Naruto stuff, it wasn't actually all that big, but the last patch of a season is never really that interesting, to be honest. The really interesting side of things is the fact that this could be the last patch of the entire chapter. Well, I'll see you for the next update when this season comes to a close in December. Will we be heading into just another season? Or will it be a brand new chapter? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe with the bell button turned on, and I'll see you in the next one.